in early uh, 80s, I went to Spain to learn how to make brandy. The reason why I went to Spain was because Spanish brandy has always been very popular in the Philippines. Emperador became the name of our brandy. Today, after 41 years, we are happy that we became the largest liquor company in the Philippines. A few years ago, we embarked on a uh, global expansion. It was a time for us to actually put the Philippines in the global map and be recognized as a global investor. When COVID-19 first hit in January, we had already felt the effects of that through our whiskey business. That same month in the Philippines was a volcanic eruption. We did see this as an opportunity to seek a higher purpose to help our country and our countrymen as well. We had divided our efforts into three parts. The first part, how to help our frontliners. We had donated a million liters of disinfectants to the various healthcare workers. That's roughly about three million bottles of disinfectants. And then at the same time, we had tied up with a hand sanitizer company. We have actually produced about six million liters. We have a transportation company with about a fleet of 30 buses to shuttle frontliners to and from the hospitals to various points around Metro Manila. A large part of the population here in the Philippines are the daily wage earners. They were severely affected by this crisis. We were able to help feed up to 3 million families all over the country. And last but not the least, we have made also some investments to help the Philippine Red Cross build up to four PCR testing centers. Maybe it is a uh, wake-up call. It is a, a time we see the vulnerability of mankind. It's really time to be uh, more caring for uh, one another. It encourages us to work closer together and to uh, create more common opportunities uh, for all of us.